Welcome back to a very special episode of The First Listens. This image you're seeing right here does not exist. Keeping with the theme of our Spotify uh, First Listens, uh, I had to create something extra special for White Bread coming in from the Patreon. He says you got to check out some uh, Pantera from the Power Metal album, We'll Meet Again, is the song. I have to listen to it from YouTube because it does not exist on on Spotify. But we are going to go through the... the uh, the, the page on Spotify to get information and learn a bit about the band. But uh, this is also the first time I've ever heard anything uh, from that era when it was kind of there. They were moving from the kind of hair metal into the harder style until they became the Pantera that, that everyone knows and loves today. So we're going to get into that right now. First, we're going to learn about Pantera and then we're going to listen to the song We'll Meet Again off the power metal album for the very first time from Pantera. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go for it. Ready? Let's go. Um, yeah, Pantera, massive, massive metal band, right? They have 3,883,885 monthly listeners to the Spotify account, top five jams. That's right. Walk On Homeboy has 207 million plays. Next up, uh, Cowboys from Hell has 161,000 plays. That was the first song I ever heard from the band, of course, on Headbangers Ball. And then you got Cemetery Gates. That's up there, 90 million plays. You got, I'm broken, wee, wee, where did he go? And that's got 63 million plays and Domination. So three of the tracks in the top fives off that first album, Cowboys from Hell, that's got 40 four million plays. Now we look into albums. What have they released in the in the years since the passing of Dimebag and Vinnie Paul? Um, you got the original album, 1990, Cowboys from Hell. Vulgar Display of Power, I own that as well, 1992. Um, then there's an extended edition. Then I started to kind of move away from them. Um, but a lot of friends still had the Far Beyond Driven, 1994. You got the Great Southern Trend Kill, 1996. Official Live 101 Proof, Reinventing the Still, 2000. Cowboys from Hell Deluxe, probably remastered 2010. Far Beyond Bootleg, Far Beyond Driven, 20th Anniversary. The Great Southern Trend Kill, 20th Anniversary, probably. And Reinventing the Still, 20th Anniversary. So there you have that. Um, related artists, this will be interesting. Who uh, do people listen to when they listen to, to Pantera? Uh, what bands are going to be on there? Of course, every single one of them is going to be a massive, huge success, right? Let's take a peek. You have Black Label Society, Slayer, Machine Head, Megadeth, Sepultura, Damage Plan. Of course, that was, uh, was that Vinnie Paul and Dimebag? That was the band that uh, Dimebag was in when uh, the, the stuff happened. Uh, Anthrax, you've got Down, you got Testament, you got Soulfly, White Zombie, and Lamb of God. So that's the related artists. You know, maybe sometimes people want to listen to a little uh, Thunder Kiss 65 when, they're, when they've just finished listening to Cowboys from Hell. And now what we do is we go and we look into the bio for the band. And I will have to put up an old school image, and by damn it, I will find one. Probably be a black and white. They'll have the long hair. It'll be ratted up. They'll be looking less um, aggro and more uh, sassy and sexy, kind of a hair metalish style. And they'll be saying, Shane, get over here for some ass squeezins. Uh, the, the preeminent metal band of the early to mid 90s, Pantera, was to rest any and what well, was to rest any and all remnants of the 80s metal scene, almost single-handedly demolishing any notion that hair metal, speed metal, power metal, uh, etc. I don't believe that at all. Where anything but passe, I don't believe that. Uh, loathe, loathe to admit it. See, I'm, he's, they're talking to me right now. I say, I don't believe that. I say, loathe to admit it. The Texas band had, in fact, been one of those 80s metal bands, releasing fairly unsuccessful and late disowned glam inspired music throughout much of the decade. The about face came with the addition of vocalist Phil Anselmo and the key turning point was the band's major label debut Cowboys from Hell 1990. Uh, Pantera's mainstream breakthrough came with uh, Vulgar Display of Power 1992, their second major label album which thrust the band to the forefront of the metal scene along such veteran bands as Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax, as well as White Zombie. Jesus. 
So there you have that, and now it is that time. We're going to move on over to uh, to YouTube and listen to the song, We'll Meet Again. Now, is this, I'm going to need you in the comments below. I guess we'll know soon enough, but the image on the album is of Phil Anselmo. So, so did, how did that work out? Get in the comments below and tell me. Did they, they, I know they had another singer. He left. Did Anselmo come on Power, uh, power Metal album? Um, only one way to find out. For my friend, White Bread, here we go. Magic Titty Nipple. Pretend it's Phil Anselmo's and you're about ready to give it a big kiss, okay? Uh, we're going to listen to the song We'll Meet Again from the power metal album Pantera. All right, here we go. All right. Is this when they started to kind of slowly get their chops up for Cowboys? Yeah. Still not sure if that's Phil or not. Oh, that's him. I heard a story that uh, Phil Anselmo threw the records out of someone's hand and wanted them to sign them. Get those out of my face. They sounds like somebody farting it. This sounds like one of those 80s movie montages where someone's walking down a dirty, dark street just going, my life sucks. I mean, he's got the chops. Picking it up. by pain. Yeah, they're going to have to fade this song out. I mean, the mix on this is not, at least the recording I'm listening to, is not great. Why didn't they put this on their first album? The Cowboys from Hell. Bring in Harry, let's get a fade out on this. Keep on rocking early Pantera with long hair, hair metal-ish. Goodbye mystery, goodbye pain, goodbye love. So what he was talking about is that terrible uh, relationship what he was, what, that he was in. The mystery part is he doesn't know what's going on with her or him. What are they out doing? They're out causing trouble. They're out doing something. They're not here with me. 
Goodbye pain is all the nasty names being called to fill at home. You didn't do the dishes right. You didn't do this right. And then the goodbye love is even though you're out doing dirty stuff in the weeds with other people or behind dumpsters or whatever it is you're doing, and even though you're always on my ass about everything else, I still love you. That's what I think that song was about. We'll meet again. Uh, but what say you? Most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you thought of the song. Do you own these albums? Yeah, I heard a story once that someone had walked up to him, and it might be just one of those urban legends, but someone had walked up to him with a, a vinyl album of one of those. And he didn't break it or anything. He was just like, get that shit out of my face. I ain't going to sign that. And it's just like, you got you to gotta own your demons, right? Or maybe he was just saying goodbye to the uh, mystery, goodbye to the pain, and goodbye to the love of that early era of Pantera. Early era of Pantera. Uh, white bread, thumbs, he ups, he's to you, my dear sir. And that's all I've got for this. If you have a hard rock or a heavy metal special request and you'd like to see it on this channel, it's a simple and easy process to do. You just click one of those links in the description below. We'll get it on for you in your honor with love and, and thumbs, he ups, he's to you for doing your request. That's all I got for this, okay? Goodbye, mystery. Goodbye, pain. Goodbye, love. Mm.